Hello viewers, in this presentation, we explain the properties of Cobb-Douglas production function. The Cobb-Douglas production function is Q is equal to a k alpha l to the power 1 minus alpha. Where Q is output, k is capital factor and l is labor factor. A and alpha are constant and alpha lies between 0 to 1. Property 1. The Cobb-Douglas production function is linearly homogeneous function. That is, lambda q is equal to a lambda times k power alpha lambda times n power 1 minus alpha. That is, by putting the value of labor and capital as lambda k and lambda n that is increasing the factors up to lambda times then the output has increased up to lambda times so this is called a linearly homogeneous product of function now see the left hand side that is the right hand side that is a k power alpha sorry lambda k power alpha lambda l power 1 minus alpha is equal to by expanding it we get this this and ultimately we get it lambda q that is the output q has increased by lambda times that is lambda q as a result of increase in capital k and labor by the same constant lambda times that is lambda k and lambda l respectively Property 2. The average productivity of capital and labor depends on factor ratio. The average productivity of capital that is APK is Q by K and that is nothing but AK alpha L to the power 1 minus alpha divided by K. So after simplifying we get A into L by K whole to the power 1 minus alpha. The average productivity of labor APL is equal to is found A into K by L power alpha. So both APK that is average productivity of capital and marginal productivity of labor are function of factor ratio that is L by K or K by L. The marginal productivity of capital and labor depends on factor ratio. The marginal productivity of capital and k is nothing but the partial derivative of q with respect to k so that is why del q by del k where we put the value of q and after differentiating it we get this again this and finally we get alpha a into l by k whole to the power 1 minus alpha similarly marginal productivity of labor that is mpl is MPL is equal to or marginal productivity of uh, labor is equal to 1 minus alpha into A into K by L power alpha. Both MPK and MPL are functions of factors ratio L by K or K by L. Here I have written MPPL a border sign actually. Property number 4, the Cobb-Douglas production function satisfies the Euler's theorem that is Q is equal to MPK into K plus MPL into L. Now MPK into K that is MPK into K plus MPL into L is equal to here we put the value of MPL, MPK and MPL that is the value of MPK and this is the value of MPL. After simplifying it, we get this and finally we get Q. So, this means that the total product is exhausted if factors are P equal to their marginal productivities. That is the Euler theorem. The slope of isoprene is negatively sloped and convex to the origin. That is, dk by dl less than 0 that is the slope of the isoprene is less than 0 that is negative and 
d square k by d n square that is second order derivative k with respect to labor that is positive so it is called a convex curve this is the indication of convex curve now d k by d n is nothing but the negative ratio of marginal productivities of labor and capital so that is why dk by dl is equal to minus npl divided by npk and that is equal to minus here we are we have putting the mpl value value of mpl and value of npk after simplifying it we get this and finally we get minus 1 minus alpha by alpha into k by l and that is negative because here we have negative sign and at the same time 1 minus alpha is positive because alpha is less between 0 to 1. Again d square k by dl square that is the second order derivative of k with respect to l. Here we have put the already derived value that is minus 1 minus alpha by alpha into k by l. After differentiating it we get this and this but these are all positive so that's why it is greater than 0. Since dk by dl less than 0 and d square k by dl square is greater than 0, the iso kind of Cobb-Douglas production function is negatively slow and convex curve. Property 6, the elasticity of factor substitution is equal to unity that is theta is equal to 1. The elasticity of factor substitution is defined by proportionate change in factor ratio divided by proportionate change in marginal rate of technical substitution between the factors. That is theta is equal to proportionate change in k by l divided by proportionate change in marginal rate of technical substitution labor and capital. And that is equal to d k by l divided by d marginal rate of technical substitution L k that is derivative value of factor ratio divided by with respect to marginal rate of technical substitution between labor and capital into marginal rate of technical substitution labor and capital divided by k by n and that is equal to derivative of factor ratio with respect to factor price ratio because marginal rate of technical substitution is nothing but the factor price ratio. So, d by uh, d of k by l with respect to p l by p k into p l by p k divided by k by l. So, this is the formula of calcul cal for calculating the factor elasticity of substitution sigma. Now at equilibrium point of a farm we get that the slope of I super is equal to slope of I super slide. The slope of I super is nothing but dk by dl and the slope of I super slide is negative ratio of price of the factors that is minus pl by pk. Here we put the value of dk by dl. So this is the value of dk by dl. This is the slope of I super. After cancelling the negative sign and taking this portion into the right hand side we get k by l is equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha into pvl by pk. Now differentiating k by l with respect to pl by pk we get alpha by 1 plus sorry 1 minus alpha. Now we put the value in the formula of elasticity of substitution here we put the value that is the value of this term, this term, and this is the PL by PK divided by this is the value of K by L. And after cancelling these two terms, and again these two terms, we get 1. So the elasticity of factor substitution is equal to unity, that is, sigma is equal to 1, because this Cobb Douglas production function is linearly, linearly homogeneous function, and these are the properties of Cobb-Douglas production function. Hope you are clear from this video. Thank you.